All right, all right. Hello, hello. Welcome to a tutorial that I didn't think I would make, but I figured I want to do it anyway because I see a lot of people, particularly streamers who just say, hey, I want to install this game and get started right away, but somehow the controller situation is what I see people struggle the most. So in this video, I want to just make sure that we get this set up so that way you know, you can get, you know, you can immediately start playing this. So, this is a vanilla installation. There are no mods, no add-ons, and this is done with a fresh account. So, if you're wondering what the T is, T is for tutorial. So, for starters, if anything, I hope you had fun adjusting the volume, because when you start up this game for the first time, it blasts your ears. Right? That, that's not fun. So make sure that volume is down. And another thing, too, is to make sure your controller is on. <laughs> and make sure it's connected and everything before you start the game. Because if you start, you know, if you turn on the game first and then you turn on the controller, it won't work. So, for, yeah, it, so thank goodness it's on. Let's hope that this controller doesn't turn off. So let's go ahead and just make a new character and we're gonna do this with a keyboard if you don't mind so just try to follow along if you can so I'm already hitting the enter key to just go through I'm gonna hit the enter key again hit the up arrow key and hit to the key again the enter key is sorry I'm gonna hit the escape key so we can skip that cutscene and all and just do whatever you want with your character so I'm going to make this one quick. All right, let's go make that. There we go. So I'm just using the arrow key and enter and all that. It doesn't matter what your first character will be. You can always just remake it if you want. So. All right. There we go. Doesn't matter what section ID it is. The whole point is, is that I want to get to, you know, the lobby. So go to any lobby. We'll go ahead and go to this one right here. Block two. It doesn't matter. The whole point is, is that I want to help you set up your controller. That's what's really important here. So let's go ahead and start by hitting the home key and if I'm correct, let me test something here. Let's see what happens if I hit F12. Gotcha. Okay. And then hit F11. There you go. So, there's something you have to keep in mind. Hitting F11 will enable the keyboard controls. But if you hit F11 again, it will disable it, and it will only allow you to just type only. So somehow you're wondering if you, why is it that you can't move and it just immediately types? Make sure you pay attention to that F11 key, you know. So now I can move again with the WASD. But that's not the whole point here. The whole point here is to set up the controller. So let's hit the home key. Yes, I understand you could hit the, you know, I understand if you play certain video games, you hit the escape key. Nothing's happening if you hit the escape key. So we're going to hit the home key instead. You can hit F12 as well. Then we're going to go down with the arrow key and hit options with the enter key. Then we're going to go all the way down to pad button configuration. Hit enter and then we go to custom. All right, so there's a lot that's going on, but there's no need to really fear here. We're just going to go all the way here to select up and we're going to no, not that one. Actually, it's going to be the action palette top. That's right. I don't think we ever need to mess with these four here, right? No, I don't think I ever do. So we're going to hit action palette top. And that's easy. That's just this top button right up here, which is I'm going to hit the Y button. There you go. And then we're going to go up and go for action palette left. We're going to hit X button, or just the left button, really. Yeah. Then we're going to go here, 
that one's a uh, you know action palette right well it's obviously the right button right here push that one and then we're gonna go for middle which is down here the a button okay and now we're gonna go and change the menu as well which that one's easy you just well hit this one right here yeah that will be your start button now for the previous page and next page this is really dependent but uh, I always just go for the camera to be the left button it could be the left trigger for all you care you know let's go with the button here and then we're gonna go down to the action palette change which I usually have it on the right bumper you can also have it on the right trigger if you want but let's go with this one right here and then we go for the menu decide, which I just put as the select button right here. Okay, good enough so far. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and hit escape. And hit escape. And hit escape. Yeah, for once the escape key actually works there. So let's see if this works. Hmm, so far, so good. Nice. Wow. So, let's go ahead and make a new party, just to test this all out. We're going to go to, and as you can see, I'm already hitting the, you know, the so-called middle button, which is the A button, if you're using the Xbox controller. So, let's go ahead and make a party here. Go, let's name anything. We'll just go with something simple, such as Raffi. And we're going to change the play mode to, you know, one person. And as you can see, I'm using the keyboard because... Well, I mean, you can't really, you can't type any of this nonsense with, uh, you know, with a, <laughs> a, a controller, unless somehow you must have some sort of attachment at the bottom of this controller, if you want. Password is usually optional whenever it comes to player one mode. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue. And uh, as you can see, um, the community behind this private server has went so far as to speed up the load times. It's rather impressive. We've come a long way. Holy camoly. So, we're going to go ahead and move our character to the combat area, which is good old Forest 1. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, the, of course, all the, the areas are all available because this is the Blueburst version. All right, and here we are. Wow, let's go ahead and test this out. Yeah, that's good. Then, yeah, and the reason why I can't use the item is because the HP is full. Obviously, it's working. What about this top button? There you go, it works. Nice. Yeah. Actually, let's do say hello. There we go. Nice. And, of course, if I were to hold this, I don't necessarily need to hold. It's just like a tap. This allows me to change the camera. Unfortunately, this is one of those older games where if I do this, yes, it does not change the camera whatsoever. You know, this is a pretty old game at this point. But why don't we just go ahead and... Just hold that down. There we go. We have another palette right there. If you want to go ahead and add even more, we can just do that. Maybe like Foy. Maybe like Zonde. And then Barta, if you want to so badly. I can hit this button to just exit out. There we go. Cool. But of course, if I were to hold down this again and then hit this button... Well, well, you know, there's a quick menu right here, which is really nice. This was introduced in the version 2 for the Dreamcast. That's right, version 1 didn't have quick menu, which was uh, pretty frustrating. And if I were to hit this again, I can switch to another quick menu, which is the items. And then here's, you know, the techniques that I can quickly have access to. If I were to hit this button right here, the left button, I can, of course, swap it. To something more preferable 
mostly certain people would like to have the Resta at the very top to utilize a very useful glitch. Okay. Oh yeah, and preferably for me, I like to just move Ryukur away. The reason is, is because I don't want to accidentally have Ryukur in the middle of the battlefield. I like to actually cast Ryukur a fervor away. Anyway, so, there's one more thing I should also mention. If you happen to play as a cast, which is a robot type character, you would also have a quick access to traps instead of this technique list. Okay. Oh, yeah, I hit this because I thought I would leave the menu. No, you hit this. There you go. Cool. Yay. Of course, why don't we go ahead and just try to hit a few monsters here or there. Nice. Okay. Goody. So. Hopefully, that is enough to sort of give you an idea here. Let me take a look to see if maybe I've missed something here. Because I made sure I write down some bit of notes. <laughs> so, let me see. If I remember anything here. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I need to mention about that. So if you want to type, of course, this is if you hit the F11 key or not. I mean, if you do hit the F11 key, that means that really you can just immediately type. But if you want the keyboard controls on, if, let's hit F11 again. So that means I can move with the keyboard. But you still want to chat, though. You would have to hit the space bar. So we hit the space bar, and then you can finally type in anything. So, hello world. There you go. All right. And, of course, I think this is a bit of an advanced tip, but at this point, almost everyone has to know about this. Let's go ahead and hit start, and I'm going to go down to options, I believe. Or is it chat? Whoops. Yeah, I think I would want to go to options. And then I would go all the way down to message speed and may set this to very fast. You'll thank me later. I think everyone will thank you if you set that to very fast. And then, of course, I think the last thing I want to just talk about is... Be and, and hopefully there's some way to fix this, but I don't think so because of how old this game is. And it's closed sourced as well, which is rather unfortunate. But if you happen to start a program and, you know, on and I'm talking about something like Windows 10 and Windows 11 and Windows Defender will pop up. Well, guess what? Something like that will crash the game. I know it's very frustrating. So it's highly suggested that you start all the important programs first, then you start this game last. So, for example, there is a macro uh, software called Anti-Macro, or, yeah, I think it's Anti-Macro. It's a nice open source software that allows you to set, you know, shortcuts to the gamepad. Because, as of right now, this does absolutely nothing. Yeah, so you can, you know, you maybe have, give this some sort of use. I mean, heck, this does nothing in the battlefield as well, unless, of course, you're in menus. Then, of course, it does do something at least so there you go whoops let's go ahead and leave i think that's all i need to share now why don't we uh do something here if we don't mind because i think it might be worth taking a look at here and yeah here we are all right sorry for that jump cut here but basically apparently i had a hard time having two devices working at the same time but before I sign off I figured that I'd just show you that it's basically what I wanted to aim for is like having at least the same layout in general as you can see this you know changes the camera this is the center button this is the right button apparently and this is the left button which as you can see doesn't work and then of course you know this is something like the word select and all that nonsense. 
And of course, if I were to hold down the right and then hit this button, there you go. So yeah, that's all I wanted to show you. Hopefully that can help you get started playing on Blue Burst and all that nonsense. Again, like I said, I wanted to, you know, I want to do this just simply because I see a lot of people, especially streamers that, you know, I think somebody would just suggest to a streamer, hey, you should try playing Blue Burst. And then they have a difficult time setting this up. So, yeah, that's not pretty. I understand the frustration. <laughs> We've all been there, you know, especially if you happen to take a long break from this game. I, uh, hey, it's all right. So, anyway, I hope you uh, have fun. See ya.